Eamon Ram here, and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. And today, I was told that they have a lot of cars down here at the uh, at the scrapyard that is for sale. And I had to get down here, so I hooked the trailer up, and I I got here as quick as I can. And so today, they got a good lineup. And so this is what's for sale currently. Um. And they got a lot of good ones too. So let's start over here, I guess. And so this one is a 1975 Chevy. And this one has frame damage. So the front, as you can see, that front suspend, like the front, the coil over, like the front coils, or uh, not the coils, the front spring is actually twisted and bent. Um, and also the sway bar, it's bent, and then back here, you can see like this, the back half of the frame is bent, uh, so it twisted the whole cab, uh, the bed, and if you look right here, the bed is, you can see how, how much separation is between the truck cab and the bed, and so, that's pretty bad, and you can also look by this line right here, you see... Where the, the truck line is, and then the bed line, which is this right here, that's how far it dropped. It dropped about, shoot, that's like a foot. <laughs> that's like a foot and it dropped. So, that is pretty bad. So, that is uh, 1975. Overall, that is the only damage for this truck. And then they have a 1985 Chevy truck, literally right beside it. This one has damage all over the place. Mainly, I think, is the bed of the truck, which the bed, the rear bumper, and let's see, over here, the fender, yep, there she is. Driver fender, the front grill, the front bumper, the hood, and it looks like it might be twisted in the front or something. Uh, the driver's side is in really good condition, as you can see. Like, this whole side is straight besides the bed side right there. So, the, other than, the 85 looks pretty good. I don't know what engine is in any of these trucks. I can't open the hood. I'll, I'll see if I can find keys later, but right now, let's just look over them. And then, we get, this one here is a 2010. This is a Ford F350. This truck has damage i think on this side super duty as you guys can see that thing is i like this truck actually i really like this one oh here is the damage right here that's it oh shoot the only damage on this truck is the front bumper really the front bumper is the only damage on the ford uh so i might see i might see if i can cop that because i really like that truck and then this one is a newer model truck it's the same truck well, it's not the same. This one is a 2016 Ford F350 Super Duty with the, let's see, I think, yep, 6.7 Power Stroke. And this one's a dually. And as you can see, there is the damage is on that passenger side, that front bumper. And looks like alignment problem on this side as well. And maybe, uh,. That headlight. And I don't know if the hood, because you got a little opening there. It could be the hood, but it also could be a fender. The fender could be bent. So not much on this truck. Not much. And then look all around it. It's the platinum. As you can see, that thing is freaking nice. That is a wide truck, too. I just don't have the need for it because I got me like I we have a truck already for a tow rig. But I really like this th this one here. I like this one. Oh, this tire. I see it now. It's ah man. Anyway, so that is that. And then they have this Chevy Corvette, which I can see the damage already. This is a ZR1 though. 
Okay, ZR1 Corvette. Back tire is completely jacked up. Look at that. Somebody hit a curb. <laughs> this thing is, it's a nice window. This is a nice, nice, nice Corvette. ZR1, you can't go wrong with a ZR1 though. You really can't. And then we have the Chevy Impala. And this one is, in fact, an SS Impala. This one's open. I can actually open this one up. We gotta go inside. I gotta pop the hood. I actually... This one... I don't really know what's wrong with this one. But... Uh, I know we can see the smoke. So, more than likely, it's gonna be an engine. This one is the 5.7. Fired up. We have all type of lights on the dash. We got the oil light. And I think the engine light's on. Of course the engine light's on. So this car has a... a this one is going to need an engine. Um, pretty positive. So slam that down. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a 96 Chevy Impala. So this is... This is one of them weird, this, this, this car is one of them weird, like, they try to keep the old, the old body style, and try to convert into a new one, and it turned out like this, like a big, like a giant bubble, really. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. A lot of people still like these cars, uh, and fun fact, this one's actually one of the ones that's actually rare to find, uh, in today's 2023. You won't find many driving around, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get the keys to the rest of these, and we'll check them out and see if any of them will maybe drive. Alright, so we got some keys, and we're going to check out the 75 Chevy real quick. I did get an oil light. Hmm, interesting. It has a bad alignment. Look at the turn radius on this. Oh my lord, it's... The turn radius is wider than a ship. This is worse than the Titanic turn radius. I'm going to tell you right now. Look at this. I'm at full lock. Look how wide I got to turn this. This is bad. Maybe you can swing it. You can't even swing the truck. It won't even slide. Brakes are almost non-existent. <laughs> non-existent brakes. All right, so the 75 would need a lot of work if you're going to buy it. It's also under power. It doesn't have power at all. So that's that's not looking good. Alignment, bed, frame, you name it, this truck has it. Next up is the 85 Chevy. Let's see what this truck got. Okay. Same deal, same interior. This one has a lot more power. I can tell you that much. You can sling this truck. It will slide. And you can tell you can do a burnout on it. Even though we are in gravel. And so if you look at the frame of this truck underneath. You can tell that somebody really did put work and time in this truck. And something happened. And they had pretty more than likely they had to get rid of it. But you can tell it has been rebuilt before by looking underneath and then look at these, um, look at those tie rods, those lower and upper. So yeah, this truck has been rebuilt before, before the accident, more than likely. But this one has the power. It's not that bad to fix. This one's not bad. I like this 85. This 85 is really good. Let me put this back over here. It runs pretty good too. Transmission shifts. That's a good deal. And then this is what I'm really interested in right here is this 2010 Ford F350. The big super duty. I never had I never had or driven a 2010. So we're gonna see. We're gonna drive it for the first time and see. Got your Ford Ding. Interior is not bad. Got some brown leather seats in good condition too no rips 
tours, tears, nowhere where. Clean truck. Sounds good. Sounds like a healthy truck. Four wheel drive. This is a very powerful truck. This truck got power. This is not stock. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's no way that this truck is stocked by any means. Look at this. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, no way. Jeez, this thing's nuts. I'm definitely putting an offer in for this truck right here. I'm definitely going to put an offer in for this truck. I like that 2010. So we're going to check this 2016 out, this big truck. I mean, there's no, I don't need it. This one's just as powerful. This was actually more powerful than that red one. This truck pushes 21 pounds of boost. What price? There's, there's no way that somebody worked this truck. This truck, I can tell you right now, is not a work truck. This is a show truck. This is a... I, I'm not... You guys know what I usually... What, what I used to say back in the day. This truck is a pavement princess, alright? I haven't said that in a while, but this you can tell. There's no way this truck worked. The 2016 has a very weird, um, it has a, it has a slight steering problem, and I, it's mainly because of this right here, so I think if you just fix this front, uh, right tire, it will be perfectly fine, and then other than that, you just slap a front bumper on, maybe a fender, the hood's good, I think it's just that's that fender, and I think you got yourself a really nice truck, I mean, this one's gonna go for really high, because this truck, is upgraded i can tell the engine has been built um and maybe the turbo is as well uh the, the the truck makes 21 pounds of boost so this truck is definitely not stock and you can tell by the suspension they put a a lot of money in doing the suspension anyway here is their uh this one is your zr1 now this one is a c6 corvette so this is actually the first c6 corvette that i've ever been in so we about to we're about to see how good it is got some exhaust got some got a cam in it this one's built too this one's been built i can tell you that much Here's that interior. Looks nice. It is in fact a six speed. I mainly just want to test, make sure the transmission works, the clutch and stuff. It sounds very healthy too. That cam, I love the sound of this cam in this car. Try not to scratch it. Guys, I think I need a C6 in my life. I really like this C6. This C6 is absolutely great. I love it. A Z I, honestly, the t I want the ZR1 and I want that 2010. So far, those are the two I'm going for it. And then we got the bubble top, or the bubble Impala. So, let's get in this thing. Now, let's, let's see. 
Now they did tell me that if I break something, I'm buying it. <laughs> so I hopefully we're just gonna do a quick little run and uh, just a quick little lap around the around the around the parking lot, and then hopefully we don't break nothing. Now they did advise me that this car deal it does need an engine. Oh yeah. It has a blown head gasket and uh, apparently the engine is down bad in power so it will need an engine very badly, very badly. So there is no even fixing that like you have to replace the engine or completely go into the engine which will be pointless. Anyway, we're going to see if we can get that, C, that ZR1 and the big red Ford over there. And uh, I'll be back. I'm going to talk some numbers and see what we can grab. A few inches later. Well, guys, we got some good news. So after pretty much talking numbers <laughs> and doing a lot of um, negotiations, we came to a, a, a very good conclude or a very good price for the both of them. Which I think is a great deal. It's a great steal, I believe. So, we are now a proud owner of a ZR1. It's wrecked. But, it's a ZR1 at the end of the day. So, I, I'll i take that. So anyway, we're about to load this stuff up. I was saying, I was about to like, I hope this Ford runs. It was acting up. <laughs> All right, so I cannot believe my eyes if you told me that one day that I will own a 2010 Ford F-350, I'll tell you you're crazy <laughs> or you're delusional. So I did take a quick glimpse of that green truck, how much they want for it. Yeah, I told you it was out of my price range. They want f like 30, that's the wrong car. They want like... 35 grand for that green truck right here. I think we made a good decision today. I really wanted that white truck, but at the moment, I need something that we can fix up quick and I don't have time to do a full rebuild right now. And these two are perfect because there's not that much wrong with them. Oh, don't get in that thing split. Now we're stuck. I gotta get a forklift guy out here now. That might do. Might do, man. Might do. All right. So there we go. We got some work now, more work, extra work with the the Chevy or yeah, the vet. I know I loaded this wrong. I know. Don't judge me. <laughs> I know I loaded it wrong. The Ford should have been on their back, but hey. We're going to take it easy going back to the shop. Anyway, uh, that that blue truck that you see there, that right there is our old Chevy Silverado. And like I told you, we take it to the crusher, they crush it. And so there it is. Say farewell because that's the last time you guys are going to see that blue truck. I am scared of that Ford. I am so scared of it. Like, I don't know why I loaded it like this, but I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I th The reason I loaded it like this, because <laughs> I was thinking I was on my semi truck. I don't know why. But let's just hope that the the little blue Ford can hold, hold up to this. Because it is not great. Oh, that rocket is what scares me. 
but it's mainly just rocking that. But you just got to make sure you don't go too fast. Twenty minutes later. All right, I'm excited to get started on these because, like I say, we gotta. After our last incident, we gotta we gotta bounce this. We gotta bounce back because we are in debt now by a lot and I'm hoping that a lot of this stuff can bring us back I know this ZR1 can definitely bring us back we're gonna get our lineup back of stuff to go to that dealership which right now we got two so far including that M8 that M8's going uh, I don't want to get rid of my M4 yet I really like that M4 it's a nice BMW all right, here we are. So, we got two. But we'll see how this turns out. Because honestly, honestly, I don't even know if I want to sell this red truck. Like, I like this truck. I really do. I like this 2010. This 2010 is, uh, in my opinion, I like this look. A lot of people will have bad opinions about it. We had some bad experience with the with our other four truck we had and if you guys remember the truck challenge which we might be doing another video here uh you know what that's what we're gonna do when we get this truck done i'm gonna try to come up with a collection of trucks and we're gonna come up with a truck challenge and we're gonna see a, truly which one is the best one and i'm also gonna do a new edition to where i'm gonna have nothing but newer Cause I got, we got a couple of new Chevys. We got a new, we got the new Ram now. And we also, now we have the new Ford, including my over there. So we can do a new version of the trucks challenge. Anyway, this truck, in case you guys don't know what engine is in this truck, I can show you. So this truck have a six, seven power stroke in it. And like I say, this truck. They put a little, you could tell that that somebody, they definitely put work into this truck. And so if you come over here and I just jumped completely off. Um, there we go. So there is your six, seven, uh, single turbo. And I think most of the truck is stock. Like they didn't do much to this truck. Uh, it is in fact a stock truck. So we're going to, we're going to do some work to it and we're going to get it to mwah perfect gotta love it when you get flat tires with your zr1 all fours not just one all fours this car loves curves for some reason you cannot get enough of them I'll show you the engine then. There it is. Yeah. That beautiful supercharged V8. Absolutely nice. Everything is color matched to the car, the engine, the engine cover, the block, the intake. Not the block, but the intake on top of the car. Everything's color matched. Absolutely nice. Anyway, guys, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.